Hello everyone, it's the Grand Strategy Nerd, and today for our first episode to appear on Random Sunday is Tito Ecology. It could be Taito. Well, let's go with Taito Ecology. Build your biome. Now a little bit about this. Uh, the base game code was given to me by the developers at Taito Ecology, and However, the Alaska DLC that I have, I bought myself for this. So, yes, they gave it to me, but then I still bought the DLC. So what does that tell you? It tells you that this is a fun little game. Now, I deleted all my other biodomes, um, and uh, we are just going to start off fresh in this one. I did a little bit of the tutorial, so you're going to see some of, actually probably a good bit of achievements pop up. So um, we're going to see if I, can, uh, if I can succeed or fail at this. I don't know how many episodes it's going to be, but... What I've already done in it, it's really fun, and I like it a lot. So let's get started right in uh, with uh, Tito Ecology. All right, so we're going to start. I did the uh, Mojave, and I did the Great Plains. But we're actually going to go with the Alaska Tundra. Like I said, this uh, I bought the DLC for this, even though I was given the base game code. Uh, the Alaskan Tundra is a harsh biome with short summers and long freezing winters. Most plants grow very low to the ground to withstand high winds, and many animals have white coats to blend in with snow during the wintertime. Despite its unforgiving climate, Alaska is still home to a wide variety of flora and fauna. Oh, I still have the tutorial on, so you're going to see it. My bad, I forgot to turn that off. Okay, I can't, I can't turn it off, so we're actually going to go, you're going to see the tutorial. I am so sorry about this, guys. All right, so the whole point here is that we're in a biodome, as you can see, biodome. And so what we need to do is that we need to, we need to keep this, um, we need to create a biome, basically. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is create a consumer. These are things that will eat uh, other things. So the first one we got is this little cute arctic ground squirrel. And so now we're going to put it, hold on, I got to, there we go. We can see it better now. Okay, arctic ground squirrel, whoops. All right, so you see that we have, oh, there's a fish there. Okay, um, let's zoom out some more, see our whole, our whole biome here. Uh, that kind of bleeds into the next one, doesn't it? And let's kind of put them right there. Okay. Yeah, X button. Thank you. All right, so now we have a territory. So what we see here, this is where the Arctic ground squirrel will stay. All right, so they're a little hungry. All right, click on one of the ground squirrels. You see it now? Look how cute these guys are. Look at them. Oh, too close. Look, he's sleeping, and they make little Z's while they're sleeping. How cute is that? How cute is that? Now, it looks like a two-headed Arctic ground, ground score right now. <laughs> well, I don't know what this one's doing. But, uh, yeah, look at that. They're sleeping. It's so cute. And this guy's sleeping. Whoa. Look at him. All right. <laughs> Plays the producer. All right, so these guys got to eat now. Um, so now we need to make sure that they eat eat stuff. And we're going to place some diamond leaf willows. And so we have to place it within their territory so that they can actually eat it. And what we can do, let me uh, get in on this. The cool thing I like is that you can change how they're spread out to make it aesthetically appealing. I mean, that's awesome. That's what I want. I want continuity. Sorry. So we can put it one there. And we're going to get another one and then we're going to put it right there. And we're going to move it to make it look natural like that. And I'm not going to spread these out too far because, you know, I would think in the tundra that they would all grow in these little clumps. Look at that. Look at that. So beautiful. Oh, that's why I love this. Check for improvements. The Arctic ground squirrel should be much less hungry now. I would hope so. Yeah! You need lots to support the moose. Detrius. Right, so now we got to clean up the poop. And to clean up the poop, we need a decomposer. All right, we'll need to take that. So let's get this. Let's get some fungi. Place some mushroom territory next to the Arctic ground squirrel territory. Next to, I usually kind of place it like on top of it so that it covers the Arctic ground squirrel. And good to go. All right, so now what's going to happen? That, oh, all right. Consume detritus every day, but only from the plants and animals within its territory. If your biome starts creating more detritus than your decomposers can handle, you'll obviously need to add more of them. 
Predators, such as bobcats, red foxes, and ocelots, are animals that eat other animals. It's best to place predators down when you have some more prey animals in your biodome to sustain them. And that's it. And then we can take photos. So we're going to take a photo right now of our... Look, at he was sleeping in the... Oh, yes. Click. And now we're going to name it. So we're going to name it the, uh, the uh, Awesome Alaska Biodome. And then that's it. That's a sweet, short little little tutorial. It tells you everything you need to know. You have decomposers, you have producers, and you have consumers. That's about it. <laughs> and so, and then off you go. That's why I like this game. It is so accessible. And you can just create all this little stuff. Now, you're wondering, what are these things up here? So let me hit it. Bing! The zone is locked. So we need to go to the data tool. What is the data tool? Uh, let's see if I remember how to get there. Nope, that's not it. Oh, here it is. Data tool. So if we have enough, we can open up another biome. Well, we don't have enough of these T points, but then we could open up another section of the biodome, and then we can click there to, to view our global stats we wanted to in Archivos. But that's about it. But that's why I love this game is that it's simple. You know, this obviously it's an educational tool, and you'll use it to to do that. Look, you can see the um, whoop. you can see the mushrooms are starting. Okay, so now we are in... All right, we're going to make this go a little bit quicker. All right, so we're going to put down something else. I need to start spending some of these things in order to get it. I don't want to put any foxes down, but a hare. Oh, we have an Arctic bumblebee. I didn't even know there were bumblebees in the Arctic. All right, so we need to spend money to open these up. Yep, that's fine. The good thing is they only cost five impact points, which are these things. All right, so we're going to move the hair over here. Yep, looks like it's turning into some kind of summer or something. All right, so we're going to place some diamond willow leaves. Oh, we've got to get closer. That's good. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's kind of hard here to zoom. The zoom's a weird... Oh, man, that was a good one. hope it comes back to that. I actually thought that there's a lot of different patterns that it can go into. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, look at that. All right, so that these guys are going to eat this. So if we click, we can't, there we go. So we click this. It goes from, it can go from stasis, which is now to flowering then as well. Let's click out of that. So we've been two weeks already. How are these guys doing? They are doing, oh, they're actually kind of hungry. Oh, no, don't you worry, I have plenty to eat. You carnivorous, or your herbivorous little monsters. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I like this. All right, we have one more. Boom, look at that. Beautiful little thing. Now how are they doing? Is it going up? Uh, it's staying steady, actually. Now it's going down again. Dang. These guys eat a lot. Well, then, oh, no. How's our bunnies doing? Oh, they're hungry as well. Okay. Well, I guess this is the trouble with the um, <laughs> with the, uh, the Alaska biome is that it's hard to keep things growing. Oh, oh I didn't want to put that over there. Monkey. Son of a nutcracker. Right, so what we're trying to get at now is that... I forget what the next achievement is, but we kind of need it so that we can get uh, get more of these points to unlock other stuff to eat. Like cotton grass would be nice. All right, how are we doing over here? Yeah, they're getting hungry too. Well, at least our decomposers, uh, the mushrooms, are still able to sustain it. I don't like where I put it. Nope. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. You want to make it flow. You want to make it look nice. Oh, monthly income. Oh, good. Density score, diversity score, one point four six. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of, a lot of diversity. I'm not going to for a while here. But at least we made it a month. Oh, you know what we don't have over here? 
shrooms. There we go. Oh, uh, da, da, da. there we go. All right, so it looks like, I mean, they're going up and down in hunger. Well, these guys are doing all right now. Uh, 8 to 12, 4 to 9 weeks until reproduction. Wow, that's a long time for reproduction. All right, so our surra surrounding detritus is reduced. What are we doing here? Are we staying steady now? 78, 77, kind of, still kind of going down here, but we're building back up. Now let's put another another bunch over here. And we'll put some diamond leaves over here. Oh, that looks nice. So, I mean, this is a very calming game, but like I said, also said, it's really easy to get into. It's not like it's not like it's hard or anything, and that's what I like about it. You can just jump in here. It's kind of a casual game, but you still get that that ability, you know, as you would get in any um, kind of uh, city building game to to really control stuff. Look at them all sleeping. Oh, it's so cute, sleeping amongst their poop. Oh, look at them. It was so cute. I guess it's nighttime coming in and out. Our biodome health is still 99%, so that's good. Looks like the, they're maintaining it then. Um, let's see what else there is. Now, are there any other lemmings? They are extra small. And we do have a pollinator, so we, you know, but that's going to take a while to get to that pollinator. Cotton grass would be nice for diversity. Caribou moss. Interesting. All right, how are these guys doing? They are doing great. Then we have the fish down there. I don't really know if we can do anything about it. All right, so we're going to skip. Why don't we go... Oh, you have to pay money to skip. Never mind. We already are going faster than normal. Looks like we're going to have another, another month gone here. So I guess that would be if we put a predator down there, like a lynx or something, they'd be they'd be hunting from that. So yeah, I mean this is this is Taito ecology or Tito ecology, whatever you want to call it. It's a very chill kind of um, kind of game. We're reducing detrius. Okay, good. We've earned more. All right, so now we can unlock, unlock the cotton grass. Right. So that's just a medium carnivore, but I don't think we have enough. Hmm. I kind of want to unlock the other cotton grass here. It's about the same leaf as the diamond leaf willow, but it will add to the diversity of the biodome of the biome itself. It actually costs a lot less, too. Good. All right. Let's make this look nice. So when it's red like that, obviously it means I can't place it. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Well, now I'm getting a kind of a weird... Oh. Do, 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 do. Ah, uh, that's me smashing my space bar. If you're hearing that, where are you guys? There you are. All right, we'll build some up here. It's good. Just building some cotton grass. I like it in clumps. I don't like it when it goes on a line like that. Although I understand it would kind of form that way. It would kind of grow that way. Let's say it's on a ridge line or something. Hello. There we go. Look, we're at 100% now because we diversified everything. You must diversify your biodome. All right, well, we didn't unlock it, but let's put another ground squirrel down. I know, I know, I'm not trying to go in there. I 
So they're kind of encroaching on, on these territories. See, you can see that his interactions over here. Well, let me see, put it there, see what happens. See if we put too many of these guys in. And then we'll get some mushrooms. Gotta get those mushrooms down. Where there's poop, there's decomposition, baby. All right, we get some diamond leaf willow. Oh, this stuff's pretty expensive to put down. I actually like how that came up right away. Oh, that second one was good. Yeah. All right, there we go. Like that, yeah. I kind of wanted to go until we got to a carnivore. I think I want to put a carnivore. Let's just let it go for a bit. Yeah! Diversity! Yeah, look at that. All right, so... Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, there we go. All right, so... Oop. So now if we go to the carnivore, we can unlock him. Arctic Fox. And yeah, he covers the whole thing. Yeah, he, he covers the whole thing. There we go. We'll play. All right, so we'll see how the Arctic Fox does here. These guys are going to hunt. They're going to hunt the ground squirrels. So hopefully we have a sustainable population of ground squirrels, right? I wonder what happens if we don't. Like, what? Something like a warning bell go off or something like that? I do not know. We got lots of stuff here, though, that we can put in this. The DLC that came with the DLC. I mean, look at this caribous, wolverines, polar bears, and yes, the moose. What the heck would the moose eat? Well, bearberry. Probably the saxifras. Sa Sachafre? I don't know what you call it. I would call it... Wouldn't that be sassafras? I don't know. Look at them sleep. Oh, and look at the foxes. They're like ranging. Oop. Look at how cute this little thing is. Isn't that just precious? He's so cute. So this is... Taito Ecology. I'm going to end it here, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, let me know in the comments below um, here on Random Sunday Games if you if there's a huge outpouring of support well, in the comments and uh, in the likes and, and such, then I will obviously continue this the series. But um, if there isn't, then, then we'll move on to something else and, you know, we may come back to this later on. But uh, I enjoy... I enjoy Tito Ecology. I think that you will as well. And uh, be sure to pick it up on Steam. <laughs> He's running away from him. He's being chased. He's running like a mug. Look at him run. Oh, no, like this one's running. Oh, my gosh. Look at how precious these are. Got to get that Bing. screenshot saved. Oh, that's precious. All right, everyone. As I said before, that's Tito. Taito Ecology. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment below, share this around the internet, and if this is your first time here and you like what you see, please feel free to click on that red subscribe button. It lets me know that I'm doing a great job and that you want to see more random games on Sunday from me, the Grand Strategy Nerd. Till next time, everyone, good night and good luck.